Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, so last week I was going through some of my old things, you know, just um, trying to sort out things which I can throw and which I can keep it. And I stumbled across my, stumbled upon my um, slam book. Cringy and ex uh, embarrassing now that you look at it. But then, yeah, full of memories. I mean, I remember I, um, I spent two nights, I think two or three nights, taping all the pictures and writing whatnot and all the stuff. Um, so I thought, why not make a video out of it? And it would be nice to reach out to my high school classmates. It's been so long that I have not even talked to them. Some of them, I've lost contact as well. So um, I thought I'll make a video out of it. And I reached out to so many friends and they have been so supportive and they sent um, their videos. Um, Thank you so much to everyone who who agreed to do the video. I know it's hard uh, trying to take videos. It's not just one or two takes. It has to be, <laughs> I mean, multiple times, right? So, um, so in this video, I asked them to share high school memories, which they fondly remember. And um, yeah, enjoy the video. And if you are watching, don't forget to share your high school favorite or embarrassing moments as well. Hello, this is Valentina, um, class of 2009, and oh my god, Tiny Tots. When you talk about Tiny Tots, everything just flashes back to you, and then you just cannot stop thinking about it, and you just smile. <laughs> anyway, I gotta tell you guys one story, okay? Ma'am Shakuntala used to teach uh, maths in 6th standard, I guess. And our class used to be so intense, okay? We are not supposed to do anything. We just have to look at her, listen to what she's teaching, and then, like, concentrate, okay? But then me, on the other hand, I'm sitting in the second bench, and then there's a thread coming out of my t-shirt. And I'm just trying to figure out why that thread came out. Just I'm just pulling it out and pulling back in and then tying in and then trying to adjust, okay? I didn't notice, ma'am just grabbed one of the ponytail and just pulled me out like that and my hair literally became like this and I'm just standing there embarrassed in front of the whole class for the whole period. Oh my god, I cannot just... <laughs> okay, anyway, there are a lot of things that I want to tell you but then some other time. Okay, and don't forget a visit down to memory land helps you relive all the wonderful golden moments. <laughs> okay, peace guys. Hi, I'm Rohit. Uh, thank you, Modern. Uh, I studied in my school from nursery till 10th. I spent more than 10 years in the school, which I have a lot of sweetest and the fondest memories. <clears throat> uh, when I think of my high school, the thing, the first thing that strikes is doing my homework oh my god our school it starts from i think 8 yeah 8 40 in the morning yeah 8 40 in the morning till uh 3 i think 3 40 yeah 3 40 in the afternoon and we had eight subjects in a day oh my god and eight homeworks which we got no times at our homes so we used to come in the morning and then do it right before the assembly Everybody was it was more like fun and games rather than homework. I miss doing that <clears throat> Then we never really had a proper decent canteen so to say but well, we had kind of bad rather we had a bender thing and Everything the soul was really delicious. It was good. It was really really good mm, and the most popular and the most favorite for everybody is mangan I think mangan it was Oh my god, I miss that. I hope everyone is doing well. I haven't seen a lot of you in ages, in months, but I hope everyone is doing well and I wish the all the I wish the best of you, the best. I will I wish the best. This is Shim Shim. It was quite hard to choose my favorite high school memory because there are lots of incidents which occupy a special place in my heart. But let me narrate an incident which happened in the year 2005 when I was in the 7th standard. Our school used to have morning assembly programs where the students sang songs, delivered speeches and read the news. That particular morning, me and my friends 
sang a song which went fled when we tried to sing the second verse. And right after us, some of our classmates also sang a song which went fled, unfortunately. So right after a performance, our school principal, in a humorous way, said that he's afraid Tsunami might come to Manipur if he continued to sing in that way. I remembered feeling very embarrassed and telling myself that I'll never sing again in front of anyone, but I still do sing. And whenever I remember this incident, I always do it so with a smile. And I always have to hold back my laughter when I try to narrate this incident to my other friends. Hey guys, this is Binakan. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. I know it's been a crazy year for all of us, but let's keep our spirits high, stay positive and fight this pandemic together. Today I'm here to share a few uh, memories from my high school days. So the first thing that crosses my mind when I think about my high school is the morning assembly. Every day at 9 o'clock we used to gather in our assembly ground and uh, listen to the moral lectures given by our principal. Sometimes assembly programs were also conducted where you know students from different classes uh, came forward and sang songs or sometimes they read the news headlines. I think that was quite uh, memorable. But of all the things I have experienced in my high school, the most memorable one would be the last day of the school. You know, technically we did not know it was the last day of the school. Nobody told us. Uh, but uh, I think it was right after the break, our class teacher came and she uh, broke the news that it was going to be the last day of the school. And you know, everyone started freaking out and uh, we got really emotional and some of us even cried. Uh, but after a few days, we had our final exam and on the last day of our exam, uh, you know, our batchmates, our friends, we decided to have a small farewell party of our own. So we all headed to the Kumandlam Park Men's Stadium, which is located quite close to our school. So we went there and we had a small tea party kind of thing and then that's how we said our goodbyes. I think that was also the last time I saw all my batchmates together. High school memories are really sweet. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you Modun for making me a part of this video. It's always a joy to talk about school memories or to even think about it. And I believe at some point of time we have all time traveled to the memories of our school days. To visit those classrooms again where most of the time we daydream then listen to the lectures of our teachers. I think our school was what it was not just because of our friends or our teachers, but it extends to include our classmates, the teaching as well as the non-teaching staff, our junior, our senior, the principal, the way our school classroom were arranged, and much more beyond it. And regardless of whether we like some of the teachers or not, and regardless of whether we talk to some of our classmates or not, and regardless of whether it was a bitter experience or a sweet experience. And of course, we can forget those fancy haircuts we get from our teacher. I think we all look back at it with deep fondness and nostalgia. And I believe each one of them forms an important component of what we consider as our school memories and taking any one of them out will make our school memories incomplete. I'm sure many of us would like to go back to those days again, sit under the same classroom and listen to the lectures of the same teacher around the same people again. But that's not happening. But I still believe and hope and pray that we can meet someday together start the day with a prayer with a song of god has created a new day talk, and then talk about various things in life and finally part the day with a prayer dear lord i thank you for all the good things you have given me i really hope we can do that and also i pray and wish that all of you do well in your life thank you hello i'm madam namganbi uh school memories a smile just flung over my face when I hear this word. Uh, I see myself sliding in the corridors of the school. I, yes, of course, the books and the homeworks were the major parts of the school life. But besides that, I fancy the times that we spent in class ten. Uh, where we used to sneak under the decks to gulp in some food, uh, sunflowers and, and this uh, fruits, pickle, pickle, they were our fibs. 
and then giggling inside the class, the after effect being separation of us away from each other in different seats. Yeah, yeah, that were the best memories I had. Hello everyone, my name is Selena and I'm very happy to be a part of this video. I was also a student of time to in school and it, it gives me immense pleasure to be able to share some of my memories of high school with you all. So first of all, I would like to say that many of my favorite memories happened to be in the classroom among my friends. Then there was this time when I would be writing down words, bits of words in a piece of paper, give it to the next friend, then pass it to the rest of the class and we'll be doing it so that the teacher will not notice that the teacher might be writing on the board or explaining things and will be sneaking text like that so this was one of my favorite memory then the second experience which i would like to share with you all is that of a substitute teacher like when you see a new face a teacher may be absent or has taken leave then there comes a new teacher then the whole class finds very interesting will be calling out names screaming talking in language so the teacher will not understand then there will be laughter and all. So I still remember we had so much fun during the last year of our high school. So these are some of my memories. I hope everyone has got wonderful memories of that time and is ready to share. So take care. Hello guys, I'm Monica Tingbaisam. I just want to thank Modern for giving this opportunity to share about my lovely high school memories. Actually, I did my high school in Tang Church Unit School from class KG to 10th and there I um, I had lots of memories and which are very sweet. And one thing is that um, I have seven friends and we used to call our group as NHB. That is literally Naughty Happy Band which is so embarrassing right now but it was such a sweet time that I had there. And then secondly, I remember that we used to eat uh, our tiffin during the classes. We never eat our tiffin during the break. We used to eat our tiffin during the classes and then uh, we used to eat um, various seasonal fruits during classes. And then I really miss our school canteen, uh, gooseberry atar and then mangan maru. And then I really miss the smell of our bakery <laughs> that used to come out every last period. And the last thing that I want to share is that I want to say thank you to all. Thank you very much to all the teachers. Whatever I am right now, I think it's because of their guidance. And that's all that I want to share. Thank you. Bye. Hello, I'm Anjana. And thank you, Justin, for giving me the opportunity to talk about my high school memories, which were really very precious for me. Like, uh, we were so young and so innocent that time we live our own ways I mean like we don't know what's right or wrong we just keep on living we, st we are still keeping on living but those days it, for, it, it gives out different vibes I miss everything like I even miss our uniform like every now and then when I see children wearing our uniform I'm like oh you're from that school I passed out from that school and I'm so proud of saying all those words I wish I could go back to those days. Like, if I had a chance to go back, I will like jump right into it. I mean, I wouldn't even wait for a second. That's how much I miss my high school days.